I just picked up this remote control car at my local big box retailer and I'm thinking about using the tires for the foam core mock-up for the infantry fighting vehicle. But I'm thinking, let's just make this shit remote control. Why not? Still using an eraser to remove your pencil lines from your foam core? Stop wasting your time. Stick around, because I'm gonna show you a tip that's a lot easier and way faster. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. Make sure that you have notifications turned on for my channel so you don't miss a single episode. And now, a word from our sponsor. PCB Way is your one-stop shop for your next printed circuit board project. They have excellent quality standards, a great project turnaround time, delightful 24-hour service support, a very large community that shares open source projects, and lots of great reviews. Click the link in the description to get your next project started. Let's check this thing out. No suspension. These little these little shocks right here, completely fake. Do nothing. Wow. So it's got some steering. Cannibalize this thing and drop all the innards into this foam core model that we're going to build. And we're going to get a little remote controlled foam core model prototype. Of course, I got two of them. You know, I had to design a car with six wheels, not just four. So you need to buy two. All right, so we got to figure out how this thing comes apart. But before we do that, I think we need to have a little bit of fun. Yeah, baby. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a platform. And this platform was laser cut, so it's nice and accurate, and everything we build on top of it should be nice and square. We can put the wheels right here, mount them first. Let's go do that. All right, we got the motors and the tires all mounted on the base platform. We're gonna wire the two motors together. We're gonna to slow the speed of the remote control vehicle down a little bit, like tank speed. And then we're gonna build the foam core bottom tub. But before we do that, we need to widen the vehicle and get the wheelbase correct. And to do that, we're gonna 3D print some wheel extensions for all six wheels. Okay, we've got the wheel extensions on. It's the correct wheelbase and wheel width for the track of the vehicle that I've designed. Now we can actually start building the foam core tub and we're gonna do that next.
basically, we're done with the tub. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire up the two motors and I'm gonna plug in the module so that I can test the functionality of the remote control. And then we'll build the whole top half and that'll be removable so we can have access to the batteries and change them out really easy. I got everything wired up, put together, it works. Let's start building the top. So what I've gone and done is I've made a little paper pattern that I've traced off the top of the wire model, folded the pattern in half so that it's symmetrical on both sides. And we're gonna transfer that onto this pre-cut sheet of foam core. And for the upper layer of the tank, I'm gonna use a thinner sheet of foam core. I think it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to work with and I've gone and I've even marked with the laser the center point of this circle so I can lay my pattern on top of that and get it perfectly uh, in the middle without having uh, too much difficulty. So let's go ahead and build this first section right up here on top. This is why I hate hot glue, because when it makes a mess, it gets everywhere. So, what are we going to do? We're going to use a little bit of denatured alcohol, and we're going to soften up that glue. It's going to take a little bit of time, but eventually it's going to come off. We've built the body. This project has turned out to be way more ambitious than I ever expected it to be. <clears throat> it's taken me quite some time to build this faceted body, but I'm really happy with it. It's starting to really have these gator-like proportions and really looking like the gator vehicle that I'm trying to make it look like. So I'm really happy. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build the turret and place that right on top of here. I've just added the turret ring and then we're gonna be almost done. But it's gonna totally be worth it when this thing drives around because it's remote control. Using an eraser, 
doesn't get all the graphite out. Remember that denatured alcohol we used before? Put it on a rag and just wipe the graphite off. The turret is finally finished. Moves around really nice. The next thing and the final last thing that we have to do is the small caliber weapon turret on the top. And then this foam core mock-up is going to be done and we'll be able to drive it around. Oh my gosh, that was epic. It took a long time to build this foam core model. I'm very, very happy. I got a movable turret. It's got very much the gator-like look and feel that I was going for, all because of the wireframe model. I never could have gotten to this stage without building the wire model first. It was immensely helpful to allow me to design and develop the body in the form that I really wanted to get. And as a bonus, the whole thing of course is remote control. We're gonna go drive it. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications and you don't miss any of my other videos. Thanks for checking out this epic foam core build.
Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hey, and don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook sometimes, Twitter usually, and now Instagram. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.